So today we're going to be talking about how to set up and use the stream manager in Twitch to make streaming easier and better for you and your viewers. All right, so let's get right into this. We're going to actually walk through the setup of it inside of Twitch. So let's get right to it. All right, so when you're in Twitch, you go to your page. You wanna write, you wanna click on your profile picture in the upper right hand corner, and you wanna go down to creator dashboard. When you click on creator dashboard, you're immediately going to see your manager which is this part here on the right and let me apply this over to make it easier for everybody to see okay so um, this is your stream manager now when you're actually um, going through the process of streaming when you're actually live um, I typically have this up so I can run do certain commands at certain times to sort of make my stream more interactive and more engaging. And that really is the whole point of Stream Manager. So each of these, each of these purple boxes here, these are things that you can click during your stream and it will make different things happen. So for instance, um, I could live change my stream info. If I was changing games, for instance, I don't have to actually stop Streamlabs and restart it with a new category. I could actually do it live using this edit stream info button. Give you an idea. Once I click on it, it just comes up. It just comes up and I can change my title. I can change done and I can change my category, change my tags, whatever it is I want to do. And it would actually change it live on Twitch's system. I could raid a channel. Yes, you can raid a channel through the chat command slash raid in the person's name, or you can click here and you can do it this way as well. There's just a number of things that you can do with the stream manager. Now, this is not the entirety of the commands. There are a lot more things do and the way that you access those is you click on the plus symbol and this is going to bring up all of the stream manager commands that you can add to your uh, dashboard now if it says added that means it's on your dashboard now or you can hit add to add it to your dashboard so you can use it there one thing and i'll go through these in a moment but one thing that i wanted to bring up is something that i always do and now this is for you people who are affiliates is I use most of my, put most of my ad breaks, my manual ad breaks onto my stream manager dashboard because, you know, as I'm going along, I want to be able to make sure to, um, a regular basis, say every 30 or 60 minutes, I run an ad on stream. And it's much easier to do if I have these out there already. I typically only add only run the 30 minute and the 60 sorry 30 second and the 60 second ads as I find anything over 60 seconds whether it's 90 seconds two minutes two and a half minutes three minutes that's kind of lengthy to make people watch a stream and I find that people tend to leave if I run ads that are that long okay, back to the actual what you have here so you have, these are organized in, in categories. You have manager stream and under there you have add stream marker and add stream marker with description. These are actually fairly handy. If you don't have, if you have a do or don't have a mod, I use this myself sometimes. So if I'm going on and I want to change a topic, if I'm actually doing more of a just chatting stream, I will typically click the add stream marker with description and type in a, a sentence or a couple words of why I put that marker in there, what it signifies. So that way, when I go later into the uh, video producer, which we'll get into in another video, then I can see, okay, there's a marker here to start some category, uh, start some topic. Here's another marker to end the topic, or here's a marker where I say, hey, this is funny. I'll just clip that. So this allows me to clip parts of my own stream. I don't do that when I'm streaming because 
um it's just difficult to line it all up the way i want but you know we have it in there in case the mods want to do it going down the next category is grow your community this is um to help people get a little bit more engaged and make your stream more interactive for them so you can do things like starting a watch party you can do raiding a channel like i mentioned um starting a rerun so if somebody clips something you could uh, go back and start that rerun of that loot gifting man you could create a poll manage polls host somebody else's channel start a prediction or look at your channel points reward queue moving down you have a section called manage your chat you can clear chat history toggle emote only chat sub only chat or follow only chat and the next section is monetizing your stream this is all about the ads that i was talking about and the last section is extension quick action this is going to be different for everybody because not everybody's going to be using the same extension so i have these specific extensions because i'm using these extensions um if i dropped instagram feed that would no longer be there for me to use and that is a quick tutorial on how to use the stream manager.